one of the most difficult things about manifestation is not you at all. It has absolutely nothing to do with you. So the next time you feel like you're doing something totally wrong because you haven't been able to manifest this new life that you keep longing for, that you crave to have, pause. Because what I'm going to share with you in this video hopefully will give you some kind of peace enough for you to go ahead and manifest those dreams, those wishes. Because what I'm going to share with you is an outside force that has nothing to do with you that stops your manifestation every single time. But I'm also going to share with you exactly what to do to stop that very thing from killing your dreams every single time it tries to. So let's go ahead and get started. See, manifestation is bringing something to life. It is a dream, a hope, a vision. It's a desire that you want to live and you find yourself living it, experiencing it, having it, touching it, you have created something that was once a thought. Manifestation is for everybody, not just for some people. And it might surprise you that you absolutely have that power every time you want to activate it. Manifestation is for you. You are the soul within your human. Guess what? You live an unlimited, abundant lifestyle inside of a very limited, responsible lifestyle that comes with stressors and, and requirements and conditions limiting beliefs and people telling you what to do and all these things, these attachments to other people and circumstances. But you've got that desire. You've got that dream that you want to come true. You've got that, maybe I should be a card reader. Maybe I should just go ahead and start this business. Maybe I should really be a spiritual coach. How do I begin? You know, I wish I could have more money. How do I get more money? You know, I really think that this gift that I have, I should use it to help people. Well, this video is going to help you manifest that very thing. Before I drop the bomb and tell you that one thing that stops people from manifesting every single time, I want you to understand that you have the power, okay, within you already. It is a matter of following certain steps, and we've really made videos outlining the steps to manifest whatever you want. It could be children, your spouse, family, it could be uh, authoring the book, it could be becoming a best-selling author multiple times, it could be financial success, it could be generational wealth and abundance, it could be great health, improved health, it could be reversal of chronic conditions, whatever it is, it could be happiness, it could be a deepened relationship with spirit, happiness, whatever it is, dear love, you can achieve it. I want you to remember this, you do not live the life you think you do. You do not live the life that you think you're in right now. The life that you believe you're in is called the third dimensional life, the 3D. It is limited by height, width, length, and that's it. It's a very logical, reasonable existence. And guess what? People are telling you what to do and what you can't do all the time. 
if they're not verbally telling you, if you're not seeing limitations, if you're not adhering to what's open, what's closed, what you do have access to, what you don't have access to, you are hearing there's a 1% and you are part of the whole other 99% that don't have and that can never have, that is a lie. The truth is, you can have. And if that's what you want, whatever that have is, then that is what you should go get. Here is the number one thing that stops you from manifesting everything. You ready, spiritual superstar? You might want to take a deep breath in here. You know I'm going to blow your mind, but I want you to receive it so that you can be it. You ready? The number one thing that stops you from manifesting anything you want isn't you at all has nothing to do with you. In fact, it's none of your business. That's right. It's not even any of your business. But you make it your business. And you know what that thing is? Other people's opinion. See, people suggest and they make opinions known and they project how they feel about your manifestation before it happens. And you know what that energy does when they inflict your energy with their hesitation, negativity, the lack of belief in your dream? It kills your dream. It squashes your vision. It totally eliminates your wish. And we make it our business because we care about the person. Oftentimes, spiritual superstar, it's family and friends. It's those that are closest to us and they don't always mean to kill our dreams. They don't always mean to project negativity into what we're trying to manifest, but it happens. And it has absolutely nothing to do with you. It's none of your business. And guess what? Your dream, that thing that you wanna manifest, if it's financial wealth, if it's bringing your dream to life as being a, a sailor, um, jack, uh, what is it, uh, backpacking around the globe, um, opening up your own pet care line, um, taking care of elephants, becoming the chef that you are, a world-renowned um, acrobatist, whatever it is, whatever it is, it's your dream, it's worth manifesting, and it's none of anybody else's business. And so, spiritual superstar, when someone else projects their opinion of what your dream should be, you don't have to tell them it's none of your business, although sometimes that's exactly what I would advise you to do. But you can simply behave as such before it even happens by not telling them what you are manifesting while you are manifesting it. See, before it manifests, it's in a very precious, fragile, infancy stage. It's in the womb of your creation. And it needs to stay there, protected. Because spirit is the only, only one that you are co-creating your dreams with. And only when spirit tells you to share it with whomever spirit tells you to share it with, do you ever open your mouth and say anything. Now people around you are going to know that you're working on something very special, very secretive, 
and, and they want to know about it. Of course they do. Human beings are naturally curious. Be empowered and protect your dream by having a response before that projected negativity comes in. See, people don't mean to always project negativity in or self-doubt onto your dream, but it's because often people that are in the 3D and often that are still asleep from spiritual awakening, they believe that the third dimension is their life and is the extent of their life. And so if they've given up on their dreams, how can they support you and yours? It's too high of an expectation and therefore don't share it until you can share it and testify to it because it will have already manifested in the third dimension, but it certainly didn't originate there. I hope this helps. Many blessings, spiritual superstar. Join us in our group coaching. Our group coaching link is down below. It is one payment every single month, and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by the price. That investment is in your future success and in your current happiness. I'll see you on the inside.